Hi everyone, I absolutely hate intros and find it incredibly awkward so I'm going to keep this brief but I wanted to do a video about some of the products that I use because I sometimes get questions on what kind of materials I use, what my thoughts and preferences are on them. Um, I'm going to preface this by saying I know absolutely nothing about what I'm talking about. I just know what I like. I started consistently creating art back in 2021. I'd done it in school, it was something I really really enjoyed. I really enjoyed um, sketching and doing kind of portraity kind of things and then I just kind of convinced myself I couldn't do it and stopped doing it. Um, and then it only kind of came back into my life a couple years ago and since then I've fallen in love and I've stuck with it. So a bit of background stuff for you. <laughs> I do gouache paintings and more like illustrative kind of um, digital art. I like to experiment and branch out and try new things all the time. So the stuff that I'm going to be talking about today is like the core what I use, what I stick with and then everything else kind of adds on to this. So this is kind of like my basic kit, I guess, of what I like to use in my day to day as an artist. Also, I'm just going to say, I'm not going to talk about budgets. This I would say that this is kind of beginner friendly. If you you are someone who does art yourself, you're going to know the ins and outs of everything I'm talking about. You're probably going to be in pain listening to me talk about them with absolutely no knowledge really about them other than how they work for me. Um, don't come to me expecting facts and technical details about the products that I use and the materials that I use. I just quite intuitively choose what I like based on how I feel when I'm using it, so I'm just going to say that. So starting in at paints. I typically paint with gouache. I like using oils, I paint with oils very rarely these days, but I used to paint with oils way more than I painted with gouache. There's pros and cons to both, obviously they're both very very different. I think oils are top tier if you want to get anything that's like movable, blendable, it's just creamy, it's buildable, it's very textural, it's just, you can't beat it in my opinion. As much as I use gouache all the time, I think oil, oil paint is just really 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 beautiful and, and satisfying to use. I feel like you can use it in so many different ways. Um, whereas gouache is kinda, it is what it is. They're, they're two completely different products. So I don't tend to use oil paints. The stuff that I started out with was, um, I think like a graduate, like Der Derwent graduate brand. Um, Cause I knew nothing about oil painting, didn't even know if I would like it. And I didn't want to spend a lot of money on paints if I didn't think I would, would like it. So I just started out with a really, really basic kind of kit, like a set. Um, really all you kind of need if it's very new to you is like the basic like primary colours black and white and maybe a couple browns, that's kind of what I started with. Um, and that does the job, like it's definitely not the best, it's definitely not, it's not the most pigmented, it's not always the nicest consistency, but if you're new to it, it's fine, it's fine, I, it's fine. When I then went to replace some of the things that I had run dry on or run out of. Um, I went more to like Winsor & Newton because I feel like that's the kind of step up from what I was using. And again, it's fine, it's much better um, than some of the other paints in the Derwent Graduate Oil set that I got. Um, but I'll be honest, oil paint is not my wheelhouse. I don't use it often enough to be able to kind of talk too much detail about it. It is what it is. For, what, for how much I create, they're kind of fine, but I wouldn't in no way recommend them to someone who, who painted with oil paint all the time because I think there's much nicer brands out there, such as Michael Harding does really, really nice paints, but again, I don't know enough about it, so I'm not going to talk too much about oil paint. What I'm going to talk about is gouache. So I use exclusively Winsor & Newton gouache paints. I think they're so good. The consistency of them is really, really satisfying. I see people use gouache paints quite thick with very little water. I don't like working with them in that way, but that's two different people's preferences, I guess, and how people paint differently. But that is what I use. I use Winsor & Newton. And again, I just started out with a basic set. Um, and then I've just been kind of building on as I go. Recently though, I've just started kind of mixing in other um, materials kind of on top of that. So I now kind of tend to use pencils on top of gouache because it adds such nice texture. Because the only thing I will say about gouache is that it's very flat. 
it's really nice, it's really satisfying to work with, it's quick, which is another thing that I really like because the thing that annoyed me with oils is that I'm not patient enough for things to dry properly, to then wait, to then do the next layer, to then add on things as I go. It's not, it's, it, I'm too impatient really, so I tend to use gouache because it's really easy to clean up, brushes are super easy to clean afterwards, and I can work quick, which is how I like to work. The only pencils that I use are Prismacolors, and they're not the cheapest, but I find that they are just the best. They're so blendable, they're so pigmented, they just are so good. End of. Like any other colouring pencil I've used, I've got to press down so hard onto it to get any sort of kind of pigmented, thick, like opaque colour and it wrecks my paper before it really does anything. Whereas Prismacolors, they're just so much better. They, they blend, you can layer on top of them. I really like them. And I wouldn't use another colouring pencil after using Prismacolors. In terms of what I actually paint on canvas paper, because I ex kind of exclusively paint with gouache, I tend to use paper. And there's two different papers that I'm using at the minute. One of them is Arches. Everyone probably has heard of them. It's not revolutionary that I use them, but they are so good. And it is by far the best quality paper that I've used. It's so good. It doesn't, with gouache, it doesn't, it doesn't kind of bend and warp underneath the water. It's so smooth. I use hot pressed, not cold pressed, because I like a smooth finish. I really, I, I don't like using cold pressed at all like it's the texture is just it's fine but it's really not my my favorite after using arches and then going on to something else i just i just really prefer arches but it's expensive so i tend to use it only really for pieces that i'm like refined worked out and they're not just a sketch it's not just a doodle it's not just like a fun little sketch paint session it's like a for real Thing. What I'm using at the minute to sketch on is, I think it's called the Langton. Yeah, I'm currently I'm currently using the Langton cold pressed watercolor paper. Honestly, because it was what was available and what I kind of thought was the best out of what I could get at the time. It's a really big, I think it's A3 pad, which was great because the Arches paper that I had was A4 and honestly I just got a bit bored of only being able to paint in A4. Um, would I buy the Langton paper again? No. It's just, I think, mainly the fact that it's so textured, because I don't like cold pressed, and I should have known that, really. Moving on to brushes, I use quite a few different, or I have used quite a few different brushes. So yes, yeah, synthetic brushes are the ones that I choose, and my absolute favourites are Pro R. These are so satisfying to use with gouache. I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend. I know I believe these are the watercolor ones that I picked as well because they do th synthetic brushes that are suitable for oils and acrylic. And I used to use those with gouache and it worked fine. But when I got these ones, which are for watercolors, top tier. It's so satisfying to use and they do blend a lot better than the brushes that I used before. If I want something though that carries a lot of paint, I use my rosemary brushes and I got like the entry set because I'd never used them before. I knew they were obviously very good, but I didn't feel like I needed to use like the top, top best ones because I was still experimenting and figuring out if art was something I wanted to do all the time and I didn't want to buy all these things if I wasn't going to use it. So I went in at their like entry level. I do really, really like them and especially the big fat ones, <laughs> technical term. They, um, they will carry a lot of paint, I will say. They are very good. I do like them, but the bristles just fell out for me on this set. I don't know if I'd have that problem if I got a better set. I don't know. This is the palette that I use for gouache. Um, do I think it's the most practical? No. Do I think it's cute? Yes. It does the job. It does what I need it to. Um, I do find it quite annoying that if I need to use like a blue and then mix a green and then you know all of these things get filled up and then I sort of have to go in in a gap where the paint hasn't been, it's annoying for that. I'm not gonna get another one because it does the job and it lasts and it's, it's ceramic. 
it's not plastic because I don't want a plastic one so yeah that is what I use so those are all the art materials that I pretty much use I add little things in here and there and experiment with different products but these are the ones that I always fall back on it's my core range of stuff that I would repurchase and keep and then everything else is kind of on top of that. If you are looking for someone to tell you the ins and outs of why certain products are good and why things are better than certain other things, that's not me. I don't know enough about it. I, like I say, use it quite intuitively and what I like I use and I kind of would encourage that. Sometimes it's just about experimenting and getting to know what you like, what kind of products you want to work with, what kind of materials you enjoy in a way that kind of aligns with the kind of art you want to create but what do i know honestly so i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for hanging out with me it's a bit of a different one this week but i'm sure i'll be back to normal content next time who knows who knows if you liked it maybe give it a little thumbs up if you didn't like it give it a thumbs down i won't be offended it's okay <laughs> um yeah bye